Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you are watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some breaking news coming out here for you. So just in the early morning hours around 2.30 a.m. Russia time, the Novosherkast District Thermal Power Plant caught on fire in the Rostov region due to multiple Ukrainian drone strikes. Okay, this is one of the largest energy plants in Russia that came under attack. And apparently they have eight power units at this station, and two of them went offline after this facility got hit. So clearly this was a major attack here on this facility, and uh, another attack on Russian critical infrastructure. So the U.S. has been urging Ukraine to discontinue their attacks for some time now, for about three, four days. And this is at least the second attack inside of Russia since they told Ukraine to stop doing this. So uh, Ukraine has come out and said they will not, uh, they will defy all the orders of the United States telling them to stop doing this, and they will continue attacking critical infrastructure in Russia. So this will not stop. And uh, there's lots of fears of retaliation here and escalation of the war. And also what this is going to do, especially these attacks on the oil facilities, is going to continue to drive up oil prices across the world and this is all at a time where central uh, banks are all trying to fight inflation. And we also have major elections this year, like the one coming up in the United States in November. So this is clearly going to hurt the Biden administration's um, re-election campaign here should prices start to drive up uh, in terms of oil due to these attacks. So I have some videos here I want to show you of the, uh, the attacks. I've got a video that shows an actual strike on the energy plant and then also a video here of it being on fire so let's take a look at these real quick and then we're going to go over an article in just a moment so let's play this for you So as you can see here in this video, somebody was driving by and caught a video of it on fire. And it looks like a pretty massive blaze. I know it's a little a little grainy uh, looking because obviously they recorded this at night. And most of these attacks, if you notice, they almost always happen at night. And I think it makes it a lot easier for these drones to come in um, undetected and strike these facilities. It's a lot harder to detect them at night versus during the day. And I think at night... There's less awareness going on too. Um, you know, it's a lot easier to strike these facilities. So very crazy that this continues to happen, even while the United States continues to warn Ukraine to stop doing this. So I also have a video here that I want to show you also. This, show, this is like just a quick five second clip that shows the facility getting struck in real time. So you can hear the drone strike the facility. You can see the blast there. And this guy gets scared. And he looks over and he's, I don't know what he's saying. He's saying something in Russian, obviously. I don't know if he's uh, hes using profanity or something. But uh, clearly this facility got hit. And we do know it was hit by multiple drones, okay? Not just one. And uh, definitely caught on fire here. So very big news here coming out. I also want to show you. Right about where this happened at, I have a uh, map pulled up here. We're going to go over this. So um, Ukraine, this is Ukraine here, and Russia, there's Moscow. So where this happened at, it happened down here near Rostov-on-Don. This is uh, one of the major cities where, if you if you remember, I think his name was Yevgeny Prigozhin, the leader of Wagner. Whenever they uh, they started to store to, to basically march on Moscow and they were kind of trying to take over the country and stop Putin with this war and everything, Rostov on Don was one of the cities they uh, moved into. So it's close to this city here, and I believe if I'm correct, the facility is right here. Okay, so it's right here next to this main road, 
kind of kind of makes sense because this person was probably driving along this road whenever they recorded it or actually I don't know if maybe they're a little bit further away but um yeah this is right right about where it happened there pretty close to Rostov on Don maybe 50 kilometers away or something like that so very close to the Ukrainian border this was probably a, a very easy facility to strike um you know assuming that it's so close to to Ukraine so I also have an article here that we're going to go over to give you some more information. This is from the Kiev Post. Fire erupts at largest thermal power plant in Rostov region following drone attack. And it says here, situated in uh, Novosherkask, approximately 53 kilometers from Rostov-on-Don, the power plant plays a pivotal role in the Rostov energy system alongside Rostov NPP. So here's a picture of the facility as well. A blaze broke out at the Novosherkask plant, the largest thermal uh, power plant in Russia's Rostov region. In the early morning of March 25th, confirmed Vasily uh, Golubev, the regional governor. According to the reports, the station workers have contained the fire with no reported casualties. However, investigations are underway to determine the cause of the blaze, as stated by the regional head. At the same time, the Russian Defense Ministry announced that Russian air defense systems intercepted 11 Ukrainian drones over Rostov region territory in the same overnight period. So it looks like they were launching probably dozens more drones um, into this area. And we do know that the Rostov region has been under attack quite a bit. Okay, they have a lot of critical infrastructure in the Rostov region, uh, which is unfortunate to Russia right now because it's so close to Ukraine where the front line is and it makes it very easy because these drones can travel, I, I believe, upwards of about a thousand kilometers, maybe a little bit more. And this is a very easy region for them to target because it's so close. So the incident prompted the automatic disconnection of 330 kV's uh, high voltage lines, namely, oh, this is going to be hard to say, Tikoretskaya and Rostovskaya, temporarily disrupting the power supplies to consumers. I probably butchered these names, but I tried my best. Unofficial reports from the Baza Telegram channel suggest that the power plant came under attack by multiple drones with the assault commencing around 2.30 a.m. The Cheka OGPU Telegram channel even shared a video purportedly depicting a UAV strike at the Navasherkask GRES. So this is the video that I showed you showed you where the uh, strike happened in real time, where this guy turned over in his car. He looked over and he saw the strike happen. Situated in Novosherkask, approximately 53 kilometers from Rostov-on-Don, Novosherkask power plant has been operational since 1965. The facility housing nine power units plays a pivotal role in the Rostov energy system alongside the Rostov NPP. Oh, so apparently it has nine. Excuse me, I thought it had eight. Um, but, but according to Kiev Post, it's got nine. And we did have reports that two of them went offline. Okay, so either way, whether it had eight or nine, still a very big attack here and very successful attack by Ukraine. Okay, so I just wanted to share this with you and get this information out there because um, this is still continuing to happen. Okay, every single day, it seems like there's some sort of drone attack starting to happen inside of Russia. And we do know that Russia started to move a lot of their air defenses supposedly to these facilities. I don't know if they're guarding energy facilities, but we do know a lot of the oil facilities are starting to be guarded now with air defense due to these drone attacks. So um, it looks like these are going to start happening probably on the daily or like every other day. And although the U.S. is telling them to stop doing this, it looks like they're going to continue doing it. So I think at some point there's going to be some sort of major retaliation here. Um, I do know that Russia has been picking up their attacks lately. Okay, they just bombed Ukraine again last night too. Uh, they used Tu-95 MS bombers again, I think two nights in a row, where they launched a bunch of missiles into uh, into Ukraine, especially targeting Kiev. Okay, Kiev has come under attack a lot lately. So we're going to expect these attacks to pick up from Russia here. And uh, hopefully at some point they don't decide to use a nuclear bomb because they have come out and said many times that if their sovereignty feels threatened or if their major infrastructure facilities come under attack or their uh, or their missile sites especially come under attack that they would use a nuclear bomb okay Dmitry Medvedev uh, said that many many times 
Okay, so I just wanted to share this information with you and get this out there. Hope you got something out of this. If you did, please smash the like button. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below and hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Everybody take care and God bless. And we'll see you in the next one.